just got a little bit more interesting between former allies turned political rivals Mar Rojas and Rodrigo Duterte. After talking trash against each other whenever possible, one might ask could this brewing rivalry turn into something physical? Ina Andalong tells us it just might if we go by their latest statements. Presidential candidates threatening to slap each other. Ito, magsampala kami. Kung hindi totoo ang warto di Grigo, sampalin mo ako. Hindi, hindi ako iiwas or iilan. Pero kung totoo yung warto ng degree ko, sasampalin kita. Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte fires the first shot. He says he wants to slap Liberal Party bet Mar Rojas for the government's slow response in the aftermath of Super Typhoon Yolanda. The tough talk is normal for the mayor, but it's rare for Rojas, a former Wall Street investment banker who seems to have had enough. The LP bet is especially displeased with Duterte questioning his credentials. Just recently, Duterte accused Rojas of lying about graduating from the Wharton School of Economics in Pennsylvania. The Wharton website, however, mentions Rojas as one of its notable graduates. It says Rojas earned a degree in Bachelor of Science in Economics in 1979. Rojas and Duterte used to be close friends, but it's evident the presidential race is taking its toll on their friendship. Their word war went up a notch after Rojas said that Davao City is not as peaceful as Duterte claims. Rojas says he is basing his statement on official police data. Nirespeto kita, pinahalagahan ko ang aking pagkakaibigan sa iyo, pero mabuti na rin lang na nakita na natin ang katotohanan ng pagkatao mo. Ibig sabihin ba na pag siya naging Pangulo, kung hindi maganda ang balita na natanggap niya, mananampal siya? We expect more from our, from our candidates and uh, we expect them to focus on issues rather than personal uh, you know, character. Nerezens feasted on the idea of Rojas and Duterte slapping each other. At Levy underscore Wong finds it disturbing to see how low politics can go. At Carl Andre is asking why the men are threatening to slap each other and not punch. At Alana Ann Ray says she paid good money to watch the action live. For political analyst Prospero de Vera, there's only one way to settle the Rojas Duterte squabble. Kung talagang uh, gusto nilang makilala sila, sa pamamagitan ng pagsampal sa isa't isa, if that's how they would want to be known as political leaders, then they should just do it and let the public decide whether they are rightfully presidential team based on their actions. Their exchange may be amusing to some, but for others, it's something that needs to be looked at more seriously, considering that these people are eyeing the highest post in the land. Ina Andolong, CNN Philippines.